had a beautiful presentation prepared, but I think I will basically more or less skip it or rush through so I can be done in a few minutes. What this is all about is I wanted to launch this compilation here of 13 fact sheets. This is a major output of Susanna. It's taken about four years to get here. It has um, the outputs of 11 working groups and um, about 60 authors and 120 contributors, many meetings face-to-face -face and online on the discussion forum. So um, I think all of us at Susanna are very proud of this document. And I just wanted to show you a little bit what's inside. And I think I might have to do the thing myself because I'll be so quick. Okay. So um, what is it? How did we get there? And what are the key messages? Here are some of the authors. It's again the leads of the working groups. Then these are more people that contributed. So um, I counted roughly 100 people. These are all involved in um, writing these fact sheets that are in here. And um, because of this wide consultation, you can say this is now consensus what's in here. This is not just three consultants who wrote it, but this is a lot of people who put a lot of time into it on their own expense. So we used the discussion forum to do some discussions on these fact sheets and had some meetings, of course, and um, the key messages of the fact sheet compilation. One key message that is no longer new to most of you, but sanitation is a, is a system. Some people talk about sanitation chain. We prefer the term sanitation system, where the toilets are over there. Then you have to have some transport, treatment, reuse or disposal. You can also go this way, collection, storage, basic treatment, pit litter and septic tanks, and then from there, you might have to transport the fecal sludge, as we heard from Andreas Boltkotter. So it's a whole system, and the 11 working groups of Susanna can be roughly allocated somewhere on this schematic. So um, it's not exactly uh, scientific where the working group is, but I've roughly put it on this map, so you can see that the 11 working groups cover the whole sanitation system. Okay, thanks. Um, so now um, I wanted to give you the key message of each working group, but I think this will be too tiring, so I'm just going to flash up these slides, and if you get to a topic that is interesting for you, then just try to take it in, but it is very heavy this late in the day. Working group one, capacity development, um, multi-dimensional, different levels, dis different disciplines and different sectors. Working group two on finance and economics. Um, financial and economic analysis have major implications for the programming and design of sanitation projects. Um, the rest of the content of that fact sheet you find in here. The fact sheets are always eight pages long, and there's a summary and then an executive summary for those people who don't have time to read it all. Then we have one on systems and health. It talks about, um, again, the systems approach and that there's different technologies and you have to know about all of them to choose the right ones. Then there is a working group, a fact sheet on schools. Here I've highlighted from the key messages in red. Safe school toilets help to keep girls in school longer, well past onset of puberty. Very important, uh, wider development implications. And this is actually something we'll also talk about tomorrow in the session in the topic, uh, water and sanitation for development at two o'clock. So make sure you're there to hear some more about this aspect. Then we have a working group fact sheet on gender. Um, I won't go into that, even though it's very important. Emergencies and reconstruction situations. There's some really good innovative uh, technologies being developed after the Haiti earthquake disaster. So one important key message is engage in learning activities and experiments, experiment to increase innovation of options also in the humanitarian sector that is dealing with emergencies. A very active and interesting working group on that topic. 
groundwater, extremely important, um, but I have to skip over it. Business, sanitation is a business, there was a whole session on that. We also have a working group. Um, do we still have David here, Korea, then he'll be happy about this eco toilets from Nairobi, um, which is his uh, company, which we're mentioning in this fact sheet. Okay, we're, ne we're getting close to the end. There's a working group fact sheet on public awareness raising and sanitation marketing. Just uh, remember here some pictures using sports, Wash United, using humor, Jack Sim from World Toilet Organization Singapore. Operation and maintenance, um, absolutely key to sustainability. Um, very interesting um, key messages in the fact sheet. And cities, we have a fact sheet on sanitation for planning of sustainable sanitation for cities. And there is one on the links between sustainable sanitation and climate and energy, climate change and renewable energies to be precise. Um, so you can see we're covering almost everything. Well, we think the working groups cover the whole spectrum of issues in sanitation. And the last one, very, very important, productive sanitation and the link to food security. This is also something that Arno will talk a bit more about tomorrow in that session eight in the, um, in the main event. Basically, productive sanitation systems support the con conservation of soil fertility and agricultural Productivity, and here we have the link to nutrition when it comes to child health, for example. So this is already um, the second last slide. Um, I think I don't have to repeat that. I can just tell you it was a big process and it was very hard work, but you know, it's, we can be proud of it. And it's not the end. I mean, these things can be developed further over the next four years. Um, and you can, there's a few copies I brought with me, so if you want to pick your hard copy up, you can come to the Susanna booth that's in the exhibition area. There you can also pick up more Susanna materials, and otherwise it's all available online. You can download it, or if you want a hard copy sent, we can also post them to you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Um, this would be the last opportunity for asking questions regarding anything you've heard in the session. Yes, there's a question, two questions, gentlemen, and then Dorothy. Thank you. I have been very impressed by the uh, process that this has involved. Um, and the participatory way in which you went about creating the guidelines. I was just curious to what extent you have been informed by and involved with or aware of the uh, SNR standards for sanitation, among others, uh, in the developed by a large consortium of NGOs over the last 10 years. And uh, much overlap I see here from what I can gather, um, but mostly oriented towards humanitarian assistance and very primitive conditions. Now I see here a, a significant advance in this uh, thought process of bringing a consensus product about. That's, that's the point here. The serious standards uh, actually are supported by, um, it's an international initiative, I've forgotten now, it's not WHO, but it's basically an NGO initiative. Have you heard of the serious standards for humanitarian assistance, which covers sanitation and water and all kinds of other intervention areas? Um, I have to say, I, I have heard of them, but I'm not really familiar with them. I think for the fact sheet on emergency sanitation, it is mentioned there, but I don't know, Arno, do you know more about them? Or? No. Um, maybe we can talk a bit more afterwards what, what we should uh, take up from that. Thanks. Okay, thank you Elizabeth for this presentation. I think you can really be more proud of what you have done here because you managed to bring all these people together and work to it. Thank you for that. Um, I have one question. Who and why should read these fact sheets? Who and why? 
maybe you want to answer it yourself. <laughs> well, um, we did, we put in there the, the target group and it is a very broad target group, I have to say. It's, we put in everyone, like researchers, students, policy makers, practitioners. So you could argue it's not very really targeted to a certain target group, it's very broad. And we have made this executive summary, which is four pages, and I was thinking to maybe publish that on its own for those people who would only be able to cope with four pages and not with the 100 pages. Um, I don't know, does that answer your question? Uh, yes, I think um, it's a really, really good collection of people that are from one sector and need to know more on another sector to have an entry for it, to, to learn how to communicate to other people that are working on the same thing, but maybe they're not connected in the daily life, in their daily work. And I think it's very nice to have in a, in a, in a short format all these different aspects covered and in a manageable format. So it's a nice door for me, for instance, to get into the world of emergencies and to also find names and contacts of people that I could address if I have a more specific question. Yeah, I call it a community of practice, and most uh, engineers tend to create those groups, but for some reason sanitation didn't have that, uh, because it's a very complex thing. It has to do with human behavior and a lot of other aspects, so that, I think, is what, it, what this is. Are there any other questions?